Hey, Brian from Garage Mall Hall. Uh, this is the Bear Baby Food Maker. Uh, we're grandparents in training, so we figured we want to give our little one the best that we can do, and uh, figured using like organic foods and you know making our own baby food was definitely a direction that we wanted to move in with our uh, our grandson and uh, our daughter. Anyway, let's uh, open this up and see what we get. So basically, it looks like it comes completely put together. And let's see what else we have in here. You get your booklet, you get a little uh, spatula thing here. Um, and it basically goes through the directions. It is pretty simple to operate. And it looks like this spatula tool helps you with uh, disassembly of part of it for cleaning. Um, that's your warranty card that comes with it, and then some friendly tips card. And then that's everything that's in the box. So let's take it out of the bag. Like I said, everything looks like it is basically ready to go. So let's get this uh, the cord unwound real quick. I say real quick, but you know what I mean. These things usually take a couple of winds to get undone. So that is your cord. It's a generous length. And it comes with like some prong protectors just for shipping purposes to make sure they don't get bent. And they are on there really good. Okay, that comes off. And then how this works is basically this top part is where you put the water and it has a max line that hopefully you can see on camera. But that is your max line. And then basically you put that down and twist it in to lock it. This little container down here, it does give you directions on which way that you turn it. So basically you are basically going that way, counterclockwise, I guess it's clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, try not to actually use the handle to turn because you can weaken it. I always like to kind of like, kind of like uh, grab it on top, use my thumb to support, and then you want to turn so you can lift that cup off. And then the lid is basically the same way you'll have little directions on which way to unlock it. So that unlocks the lid, and that comes off. And then this piece comes out. And then again, when this goes in, you have you kind of have to twist it into place and you'll kind of feel it slip into place. And then when you put the lid back on, you just line up the little markings there, turn it down, and then connect it. So. That is uh, basically everything. Now we're gonna make some uh, some apples, steamed apples in this unit. And you can use the, the guide on the front. Let's move, take this off. And this is tape from packing. So it comes off relatively easy. Super sticky tape. So on the front you have your power switch and then you have your selection mode for uh, um, function so you have veggie fish fruit meat and then uh, a little like they'll tell you lack of water that's in there you have a blend mode self-cleaning steam uh, you have your power button obviously and then plus or minus will actually give you extra time if you see fit and if you go through the guide it will actually tell you how to operate the whole machine so definitely read through because there's some good stuff in here as well uh, show you cleaning, best practices, and then it will give you a... Alright, I had a little trouble finding it, but here is the recommended cooking timetable. I'll give you an idea, like carrots 25, pumpkin 20 minutes, potato, corn, uh, yam 20 minutes, spinach 10, and a pre-soaked oat uh, 15 minutes. Then you go into like apples uh, 20 minutes, bananas 10, pear 15, kale 10, uh, beet 20 and then you have fish 15 and beef 30 minutes so again definitely consult this guide and uh, without further ado let's uh let's get baby food making all right with any any new product obviously make sure that you take it all apart and you clean it thoroughly just to make sure that it's you know well cleaned after the manufacturing process so uh, use hot soapy water Just rinse it all out really well. And that's your steam lid. Make sure 
we get like through the little steam hole that goes through there. And obviously make sure that it is unplugged and you can clean and rinse this out. Okay, we're gonna let that uh, let it all drip dry real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, now that we had everything basically drip dry, we'll put everything together. Um, ahead of time, I did slice up two apples, uh, put a little bit of lemon juice in there just to make sure that you know that it keeps the freshness look to it. So that is two apples, and you want to make sure that you cut them into about one inch, less than one inch size chunks. Quick sample. So you take your measuring cup. And you put that into place, then you get your rotating blades, and you'll feel it kind of like find its home. And we are going to, you have a max line, so we're basically going to fill this up. About the max line, pretty close there. That's about max. A couple leftover treats for grandfather. Then this lid basically goes on, locks into place, turns itself on. We're going to pour one cup of water to the top so you can see how it goes through the max line. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that filled it to the max line. So we're going to put this lid back on here as well. And make sure this is nice and secure because that is where it's going to develop the steam. So you press the on button. And then you're going to go through and it's going to basically select function. So we are going to select fruit. Oh. Okay, fruit. So it automatically selects 15 minutes. And you can see on here you got the veggie, the fish, fruit, meat. And if you had to add extra time, you can add extra time to what you need. And then you basically, um, we just leave it alone. And it will uh, start the process automatically. All right, so right now it's actually in heating mode and you can kind of hear like a low hum. So it's gonna be uh, heating the water up and then that should start blending uh, as soon as the water is ready. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so here we're at about 11 minutes and you can kind of hear it steaming as it goes and you can kind of see some of the, uh, the humidity increasing inside there, which means that the, the steam is starting to, to move. Anyway. All right, so here we are at the 10 minute mark, and if you can hear it, you can start to hear the, uh, the steam. You can kind of see some of the steam coming through here too. And it's starting to steam everything inside here all up. Yeah, and you can see the steam coming up through the, uh, the lid there. So that's pretty cool. And we're at the nine minute mark. All right, here we are at the uh, the eight minute mark, and you can definitely see the steam coming up pretty good through that, and it's steaming away. All right, so here we are at the seven minute mark. You see how steam filled that is getting, and steam escaping from the top. Here we are on the uh, five minute mark and you can really see a steam going pretty good. All right, so here we are at the three minute mark and we're getting down to the uh, to the last two minutes when it should start basically pureeing that. And it was kind of weird, around the seven minute mark it actually did like a uh, quarter of a turn.
All right, and there you have, that is done. So I would let that uh, sit for a couple minutes and then you should be ready to go. And let's, uh, let's check it out. So that's unlock. And then the lid. And you can see the steam coming off that. But like what great looking steamed apple baby formula and consistency you have. All right, so we're gonna let this cool down and uh, we'll be ready to serve. Right. All right, so after it's cooled down, you can, it's still pretty, uh, pretty warm. Oh, give you an idea too, how much water it used. And obviously do only do this when it's cooled down, be safe but that's how much water is left. Now that water will be really hot, so be super careful. But I just showed you as an example to show how much is left. And then like I said, uh, put it into your container, but that is your uh, ready to go uh, baby, baby food uh, apples. That's really good. Anyway, Brian from Garage Mahal. Thanks for watching and uh, be safe out there.